Nintendo. Before we begin, we want to extend our condolences to all the victims of the two tragic events in Orlando. Our thoughts are with their families and their communities. And this includes Christina Grimmy, who was killed in the earlier incident and was scheduled to visit us here at our E3 booth this week. At Nintendo, we try to make our fans smile. But this week at E3, we'll also be shedding a few tears. Please join me in a moment of silence. If you've been a fan of Nintendo over the years, you'll know that the Nintendo experience is different at every E3. We always look for the best way to introduce our most important content. And this year is no different. And that's why we're coming to you directly from our show booth on the set of Nintendo Treehouse Live. On the other side of the wall behind me, the finishing touches are being made before we open it up to thousands of industry insiders in just a couple of hours. That space will immerse visitors in the world of a single game, the newest entry in the Legend of Zelda franchise. What's in store is an entirely new format for a Zelda game. Three decades ago, the first Zelda game changed the way millions of people thought about video games. And this week, you'll discover a game that could change that thinking again. Here's the first look at what awaits. Open your eyes.
The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild introduces you to a Hyrule that is truly seamless. Where simply moving from one place to another begins to create what may be the adventure of a lifetime. And not only is this new world vast, but it feels alive. It teems with adventure. Throughout Link's quest, Hyrule will be a resource, an ally, an enemy, and always a place for discovery and wonder. This is easily one of the biggest experiences ever created by Nintendo. And today, you're going to get a close-up look. The portion of the game we're highlighting at E3, a wide-ranging plateau, may seem huge. In fact, no one here this week will be able to explore all of it. But even then, that plateau is only a tiny fraction of the full game map. We'll be devoting almost this full first day of Nintendo Treehouse Live coverage to just this one environment. Then, in the future, you'll learn more about the story, the characters, and the ways in which the boundaries of all previous Zelda titles are being broken. But in the end, full understanding and full immersion will only come when you experience it for yourself. However, before we show you this biggest adventure for Wii U and NX, we're going to show you the biggest new adventure coming up for Nintendo 3DS. As you've heard, there are two new core Pokemon titles on the way on November 18th, Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. As always, you'll pick which new starter Pokemon to partner with. But which one to choose? Exactly what kind of battling awaits you? And what does the new Alola region have in store for players? Well, we figured there was no one better equipped to answer those questions than the two key developers of the game itself, producer Junichi Matsuda and director Shigeru Omori of Game Freak. So before we devote the rest of the day to The Legend of Zelda, I'm going to turn it over to the Treehouse team, along with Mr. Matsuda and Mr. Omori, to show you what it's like to start as a Pokemon trainer in the first ever live gameplay demonstration of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. So let's jump in. Take it away, Sam and Terry. Thanks, Reggie. And thanks to everyone watching for tuning in and joining us for another Nintendo Treehouse Live at E3. We're really excited to get started. So as uh, Reggie mentioned, I'm Sam from Nintendo. And joining me up here, I've got Terry from Nintendo hey. and my colleague David from TPCI. And we've also got our very special guests, uh, Masuda-san and Omori-san from Game Freak, who are joining us to chat about Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Now, uh, Pokemon fans already know that you guys have a very long history of working with the Pokemon franchise. But could you tell our viewers a little bit more about about what you guys are doing specifically with Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon? Well, I'm a Pokemon developer and Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon. Can you tell us about the role of Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon? Yes, this year we have 20 years of Pokemon. And we have a lot of Pokemon in the future. I'm going to test the producer and I'm going to be the director of Shigeru Omori. So this is the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, as I think many of you know. And when thinking about the future of Pokemon, uh, I've decided that I would be the producer uh, on this title and also and pass over the uh, director role over to Shigeru Omori here for Pokemon Sun and Moon. Uh, so I'm Shigeru Omori from Game Freak, and I was the director on this game, overseeing the entire development of it. Well, thank you so much for joining us today. I know you brought some art assets that we can take a look at to introduce folks to the Pokemon Moon, Pokemon Sun collection. But first, we've actually got some video footage that you brought for us. So uh, folks watching, if you sit tight, we're actually going to get that queued up for you so you can take a look.
All right, so there's a lot for us to talk about just from the footage there. Uh, the first thing I'd like to actually uh, ask you is uh, if you could tell us a little bit more about the background of why you went with Sun and Moon as the titles for these games. あの、ま、私たちのあの住んでいるこの地球っていうところにあの生き物がたくさんいるわけですけども、ま、その中でえ、ま、その生き物に対してとても影響がある、え、ま、そのコアとなっているものっていうのはやっぱり太陽と月っ
new Pokemon and a really cool environment as well to explore. Yeah, it's not connected to any other countries. It's not connected to any other countries. Yeah, 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 it's not connected to any
one day previous to where we are in the game, he actually, uh, received his first partner Pokemon for his adventure. And right now we're actually on the way to a neighboring town where there's a, a festival. Oh. And I think here uh, we can see what we were talking <laughs> about earlier. Oh, you're just jumping into the low grass. Oh, Sasuke. 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 So as you can see in the Alola region, obviously it's not just new Pokemon that are unique to the Alola region, but from other regions you see Pokemon. In battle, you see the trainer is actually standing behind uh, the, po the Pokemon uh, in the battle. So we really wanted to express this uh, feeling of the trainer always being with his or her Pokemon. Yeah, I'd love to talk about that in a little bit more detail here because I feel like there's so much that you've done with um, uh, the way the battle looks in this game to make it feel really intense and really immersive. I was wondering if we could talk a little bit more about that with what you did with um, the lighting and the dynamic camera angles here. Yeah, the boss view will be raised a little bit. Yes, yes. But now, the camera is different. The light and the light are different. Yes, yes. It's a little bit longer and longer. So yeah, there's some cool lighting uh, effects that we're doing here. Where, uh, for example, like the shadow you see, it's uh, in the evening right now, so it's a bit longer. But depending on the time of day, the, the lighting will kind of affect the mood of the battle. I think here uh, Terry's kind of staying still for a second to let us see how the camera is, is moving around. And this is something that'll just happen for you if you're staying still in the battle for a moment. And you really get a good chance to get a look at these Pokemon and the area that you're in and the environment. So yeah, there's uh, definitely some cool, uh, we try to make the camera feel really dy dynamic uh, in the battles this time around. And actually, as uh, Terry gets started in the battle here, I was wondering if we could talk a little bit more about uh, the different changes you've made to the battle interface. I know there's a lot here that's really interesting, which makes the game really accessible to new players. Maybe this is their first Pokemon game, mm -hmm. but it's also, I think, really satisfying as someone who's played a lot of Pokemon games. It just it feels really good, the changes that you've made here. So for example, yeah, we really tried to focus on making it really accessible and easy to understand. Uh, you saw in the moves there, Terry just pressed the little I button or the icon that's on the move and you can go into a detailed explanation of what that move actually does. I think it's been so helpful. There, there are just so many Pokemon that you have to, to keep in mind now as you're battling. It's so nice to be able to pull it up. And if maybe you don't quite remember what something does, yeah. being able to just pop it up really fast there, it's like you don't have to use that information. But if maybe your memory is not as good as it used to be and you need it, it's so nice to be able to pull that up and take a look. So actually you can see there's the you can tap on the uh, 2D Pokemon icon that's at the, the touch screen and see how its parameters actually just got changed um, because of a, the effect of a, a, of a move. So as you just said, like a lot of things that you had to keep in your head, you had to remember uh, before, are now visualized on the interface itself. Alright, let's see how this battle goes. Are you, are you planning on trying to capture this? I'm going to begin my quest to catch them all. Oh. Okay, good luck. Zimbo, tsukamai na ito. Tsukamai te, tsukamai te. Yeah, get it. You can oh. do it, I think. So um, just to, to bring up real quickly, for folks who maybe haven't played a Pokemon game before, um, battling Pokemon is really at the core of what the series is all about. You're going out into the world with your Pokemon battling. Oh, oh. this is the most stressful moment. <laughs> nice. Nice. Okay, so we, <laughs> we're able to catch this Pokemon. Um, but it's a really interesting game if you're interested in battle and strategy and in, uh, collecting all these really interesting Pokemon that you meet. And, oh, and Pokemon leveled up. Good job. <laughs> And it was nice there too, seeing how the the level up change. Oh, and this is actually something that we should talk about as well. Um, 
Can you tell our viewers a little bit more about、um, what they're seeing on the upper screen? Pretty much, it's a little bit different. 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 まあ、進化後かそれとももしかしたらペアとなるポケモンが出てくるかもしれないっていう風に演出してますいろいろこうどんなポケモンがいるんだろうって考えながら育てたり捕まえたりしてほしいなと思います。So one of the things we wanted to do with the Pokedex this time was really encourage players to again really want to catch them all, really fill up the Pokedex. And one way we've done that, as you can see, there's the Ladybug just got registered, but next to it is a white Pokeball icon. And what that does, that indicates that there's an empty space, which means that either it has an evolution or maybe there's another Pokemon out there that kind of forms a pair with it. So that'll kind of encourage players to really want to fill up that empty space, go out and search and you know catch all different types of Pokemon and kind of complete their Pokedex. Yes, especially exciting, I think, when you find one and there's lots of white Pokeballs and you're just like, oh, okay. So it's an Oh, oh, oh it's close. いい、ね、oh, getting close there. You'll probably be able to catch、mm-hmm. this one. We're on our way. Oh, Good luck. that's two down. <laughs>、ね、yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is always like the most stressful seconds in any Pokemon player's life. Just <laughs> the. Oh, oh. 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 And actually, this will give us a chance to maybe take a look at the Pokedex.、Uh, we've got a new Pokemon to check out. So, we've got some,、uh, some interesting changes coming to the Pokedex in this game.、Um, can you tell us a little bit more about what fans can expect from the new Pokedex? So, this is the Rotom Zukan. This is Rotom Zukan. This is the 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 Rotom Zukan. One of the new、uh, things in this game is that we have this、uh, item called the Rotom Pokedex, and Rotom kind of inhabits your Pokedex and actually helps you、uh, in your adventure. So it'll tell you information about、uh, Pokemon that you really want to catch or、uh, give you tips about how to catch Pokemon and also gu- kind of guide you on your adventure where you should go next, for example. So it serves as a really cool supportive function. So, right here, actually, we're, we're still really early in the game. We don't have the Rotom Pokedex, so the touchscreen is just black on the bottom, but you'll get it later. And here, actually, this is a great chance. If we just like, take a little quick circle around, we can show off、uh, not only the trainer's proportions, but also the, the movement is a little bit different than what、um, folks、ね、who played previous Pokemon games have expected. So, this is a great chance. If we just like, take a little quick circle around, we can show off the trainer's proportions, but also the movement is a little bit different than what folks who played previous Pokemon games have expected. Oh, oh, and I, we need to tell players what's going on here、uh, when they're seeing the, the shadow come in. まあ、今、あそこのキャラクターがこうモンスターボールをこう投げているんですけどあれはこうポケモントレーナーですねでポケモントレーナーの視線に引っかからないようにまあ上下でこうその緊張感をこう表しています。So you see that, uh... Lady over there, or the girl throwing a Pokeball up and down. And,、uh, so she's a Pokemon trainer, and what,、uh, she's obviously going to try and battle you. But what that kind of、uh, shadow that appears on the screen indicates is that, there's a, that she's going to challenge you to a battle. So it kind of increases this sense of tension of you're about to go into a battle. a n d indicates that to the player. So I can either avoid her or actually battle her. Yeah, well, battle her. I think we'll learn battle her. Yeah, it feels like that moment where two people are like, glaring at each other. <laughs> ready to fight. <laughs> But it is really nice if you're in a position where maybe you're trying to get somewhere really quickly or your Pokemon aren't in great shape right now, you don't want to fight. It's, it's nice to have that second where you can avoid it before you just kind of stumble yourself into a battle. 
そうですね、ポケモンの具合が良くないときとか、先に急いでるときは避けられるっていう、うん、あそうですね。And I think from the experience I've had at the office playing this game, it's really going to surprise people when they take a look at just how big and small certain Pokemon are when they're actually standing right next to them. あと,、えー、とトレーナーごとにです、ね、いろいろこうモーションを工夫してまして、例えばボールの投げ方だったりとか、まあ、ポケモンに指示を出す仕草とか、まあ、そういったものが細やかに設定されています。ね、やられちゃったポーズとか、ね。やられちゃった。<笑><笑>それと、えっ、ー、と、トレーナーが見せてくれたのは、アイテムを拾いましたね。So I think there might be some more folks we can battle up here. As we're walking around, a, I'm hoping folks who are watching are listening with the volume up so they can hear the,、oh. the music in this area. I, just, I found it really great how it feels.、Uh, it really fits in with the tropical environment. I think it's really great how it feels. 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 I love how enthusiastic he looks. <laughs> All right, Oliver. <laughs> ややっぱそうですね、あのバトルのインターフェースでこういろんな情報を今,、まあ、今回覚えなくてもいいという話だったんですけどもこう、まあ、見たいときはもうあのタッチ一つでこうやっぱこう情報をすぐに出せるのがやっぱこう便利ですね。あそうですねやっぱりこうバトルをしていて、まあ、こいつどんな状態だったっけとか、まあ、そういったことがすぐこう情報に出せるということは初心者でも、まあ、この奥深いバトルに、まあ、とっつきやすくなるかなと入れました。<笑>言われているポケモンですね。そうです。ピカペク、called the wood poker。あ、すみません、ウィッド。ウィッド。あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ、けん、あ
So do we have anything we can give Papa Yoda? I think it's time to go to the festival. Oh, mm. so you're ready. Awesome. Oh, no. We'll just run from this one. All right. Mm. <laughs> oh, young goose. Mm. Oh, young goose. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Terry, are you going to heal up after this? Or? Yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll get healed up. We'll get healed up. I think get before we get to up. the festival, because that's... Yep. Not to give too much away, but there's... There's more fighting in your future. More fight. So, uh, actually, as we come into the, this area here, we're going to be meeting several different characters that uh, our viewers maybe aren't familiar with. Uh, would you mind just giving us a quick introduction to them? はい。そうですね。えっと、今リリータウンに到着したんですけども、このキャラクターがハラというキャラクターですね。えっと、最初にま、ポケモンをくれるというキャラクターで this is Hala. I think it's been revealed uh, already in a uh, video that we've released, but uh, it's really strong trainer on this island, and he's actually the uh, guy who gives you your first uh, partner Pokemon in your adventure. Uh, a very strong trainer on yeah. this island. Uh,えっと、この子はハウっていうキャラクターですね。えっと、まあ、ニャビーを今連れているんですけど、この後。so this is how and you're about to battle him actually uh, as part of this festival. And that's Professor Kukui right there in the white lab coat. He's a professor who specializes in researching Pokemon moves, so like their attacks and such. Yeah, I think based on the fan response I've seen, he is quickly becoming the most dreamy <laughs> Professor, <laughs> thank you for the fan.今までのお博士の中でちょっとイケメンという評判が。あとリリエですね。えっとポケモンのトレーナーではないんですけども、今後も一緒に冒険するキャラクターです。And <laughs> <laughs> that's uh, Lily uh, behind you there. She's the uh, assistant of Professor Kukui, and she's not a Pokemon trainer, but she'll join you on your adventure throughout the story. And sharp eye viewers may have noticed her bag is kind of interesting. ちょっと彼女が持っているまあバッグちょっと気になりますね。カバンの方は。なんかありましたか今。I think it's time we go into the festival battle. So I think it's going to be really interesting for fans of the series to see this battle and, and the space. Uh, the way that Pokemon and Pokemon battles are integrated into the culture in these islands is really interesting. And you get these amazing battle spaces where other folks are gathering around and, and watching you guys fight. まあ、この、やっぱこう人間の社会にもやっぱポケモンとポケモンバトルそのものがこう、え、なんていうんですか、社会の一部のやつですごい大切なものっていうのがすごく伝わりますね。やっぱこういう、え、しっかりしたこう
回あの、まあ、南の国という設定なんですけど<笑>、うん、やっぱこう研究目的でこういろんな素敵な場所に行けたんじゃないでしょうか。あそうですね、まあ<笑>えっとまあ、開発のスタッフでこう実際にハワイに行ってです、ね、いろいろなモチーフを見たり、えー、デザインにも生かされたりしていますね。<笑>はい so yeah, we The staff, the development staff at Game Freak, we took、uh, trips to Hawaii to really do some research, and we've definitely、uh, utilized、great. that to kind of reflect、yeah. it in the game. And <laughs> I should have convinced my boss that I need to do that to prep for this, to, to really get this segment. I, I really need to go to Hawaii. I'm going 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 to go to Hawaii. Come on, Terry, show us what you got. Oh, oh, that's one、nice. down.、Oh. So we saw with the icons as the battle started.、Um, I think Hao has one more Pokemon to go. Hao has one more Pokemon to go. Ooh, and a new skill, nice. She was a little bit stronger.、Mm. There we see one of the other new starters. Yabi is in this case, but it's a. 一回実はもう見ているという設定になってまして、えー、と戦うとですね一、えー、回見たことあるポケモンはどれが効果が抜群かっていうのが分かるようなインターフェースになっています。So at this point in the story you see、uh, how has Litten,、uh, which is another one of the first Pokemon you can choose in your adventure, but you've actually encountered,、uh, you've battled against him and his Litten once in the story. And so once you've, in Pokemon Sun and Moon, once you've battled the Pokemon once, the next time you battle it you'll get information on your move list about which moves are effective、right. and which ones aren't. あのあれですね、あのスーパーエフェクティブっていうのは効果抜群っていう。そうですね、あの、そう、just explaining that, you know, water gun is a super effective tool. <笑> yeah, what I mean, I think I'll stick with that one.、Yeah. 初心者でも分かりやすいふうにしています。そうです、just coming back to make it all very easy to understand for even beginners of the games. Oh. That really is so nice to have that information. 情報があるとやっぱ助かりますね。I think especially when you're trying to catch more Pokemon. And、you're like, okay, I, I actually maybe don't want to be super effective、yeah. right now. I need to kind of whittle this Pokemon down. So,、yeah. being able to remember maybe you want to use your weaker、oh. attack s sometimes just to kind of get them、yeah. just to that point. Scamai to Kito, Kamo, Yapoko, Koka, Batsun, Janai, Ho, Toko, I, and I'm going to get the Kiko, Yakin, and Kachimas, and Kono, Joho. Nice, good job, man. Kachimas. I love what a good sport how is about losing, too. He's just kind of like, I'm going to get the Kiko. So, I don't think we can go too much further in the gameplay because we're going to start giving away story elements that we don't want to show folks yet.、Um, but you did bring another video for us to take a look at that has、um, a new gameplay mode that、uh, I don't think folks have seen before. This is the first time I've seen the game play mode. I don't think folks have seen before. This is the first time I've seen the game play mode. I don't think folks have seen before. This is the first time I've seen the game play mode. I don't think folks have seen before. This is the first time I've seen the game play mode. I don't think folks have seen before. This is the first time I've seen the game play mode. I don't think folks have seen before. This is the first time I've seen the game play mode. I don't think folks have seen before. This is the first time I've seen the game play mode. I don't think folks have seen before. This is the first time I've seen the game play mode. I don't think folks have seen before. This is the first time I've seen the game play mode. I don't think folks have seen So, with、uh, the Pokemon series, obviously、uh, using it as a kind of a communication tool, facilitating that communication between players has always been one of the things we've really focused on with the game. So, trading and battling between players, of course.、Uh, this time, that's no different. We've got an all new multiplayer battle mode, which we're calling the、uh, Battle Royale. All right, well, let's see if our crew can load that up for us and we can、so uh, check out the speed play. <laughs> So, as we get started here, can you tell us a little bit about what the rules are for Battle Royale and how the matches are decided? So, this is Battle Royale, and this is the rule of the game. So, this is the rule of the game. So, in this mode, it's actually four players.、Um, each player chooses up to three Pokemon and battles with one at a time.、Um, in this video here, we're just、uh, doing one、uh, Pokemon for the sake of time. このバトルロイヤル勝敗についてなんですけども、えー、と誰かの手持ちのポケモンが、えー、と全て倒されたら試合終了となります。So how this actually works with、uh, how it determines the winner. So this is a free for all battle.、Um, but whenever one of the trainers, when the first trainer to lose、uh, all of his or her Pokemon, that signals the end of the battle. えー、と倒したポケモンの数と,、えー、と残ったポケモンの数の合計が一番多いプレイヤーが And then once the battle is over, once the first person loses all of their Pokemon,、uh, it then, the, to determine the winner, it, the game tallies up each player's、uh, how many Pokemon they've defeated and also how many Pokemon they have remaining on their team. And whoever has that highest number is the winner of the Battle Royale. 
Yeah, I think it's really interesting what this is going to do for strategy as folks are playing, because generally speaking, when you're thinking about how you're going to switch up your Pokemon to fight another trainer, uh, it's only a one-on-one -on -one situation, so you can look at their Pokemon and say, okay, I've got this Pokemon that's going to be strong against this one, but you're worried about two other opponents here, so you really have to think about who's going to fare best against a group. Three other opponents, actually. Yeah, it's... Say. そうですね、あのやっぱこう今までだったらこうチーム戦とかあとまあ1対1のポケモンバトルが、うんえー、多分主流だったと思うんですけども今回はやっぱこう相手、えー、3人気にしなきゃいけないっていうのは、まあ、特徴ですよねそうですね、えーとまあ、今回特徴としてこう4匹いるポケモンの中で誰を倒すかっていうのを考えないといけませんで例えば1匹すごい強いポケモンがいても3人で集中攻撃すれば倒せるといった戦略性もあります So yeah, it's a free for all, and of course, you know, you could have three people gang up on one really strong person, or you really have to kind of determine your strategy about how you're gonna, you know, which order you're gonna defeat Pokemon, who you're gonna focus on. Right. So, totally new uh, gameplay. Yeah, it is interesting how how much more intense it feels. Where I'm used to just looking at the trainer in front of me and fighting them, and suddenly it's like, oh, there's two more trainers. I have to pay attention to everybody. And folks watching there, uh, you may have caught that the trainers there were wearing different outfits from what we saw with the. Uh, the regular player characters that we've shown off so far, we can't really talk about that yet, but <laughs> worth noticing. So, yeah, you can actually uh, customize your outfits in, the, in this game as well. So. so, we're just about out of time, but before we wrap up, um, I was curious now that you've had a chance to uh, see some fan reaction for these games, um, how's it been seeing how uh, Pokemon fans have reacted for Pokemon Sun and Pokemon? まあ、ちょっと時間が来てしまいましたけれども、えーまあ、今回の、えー、ポケモンサンムーン発表されてから、えー、多分まあファンからの反響というのはあるんですけれども、そのまあ、手応えについてお話してもらえますかそうですね、あのー、今回、えー、7言語から、えー、9言語に中文を、えー、増やしまして、えー、特にその中文使われている人たちからもたくさんあの反響をいただいてまして、まあ、自分のツイッターとか、あのー、いただいてるんですけれども。やっぱりこう、まあ、ポケモン20周年ということもあってここからさらにこう広がりを見せるために、まあ、非常にこうみんなが喜んでくれて、まあ、とても嬉しいなと思ってます。So uh, yes, the, fan, the reaction from everyone has been really great. You know, I get tons of messages and tweets and everything. Uh, this being the you know the 20th anniversary of Pokemon, uh, one of the goals we really want to kind of you know for the future of Pokemon really kind of expand it to even a wider audience. And as I think you, we've announced previously, uh, in the, addition to the seven languages we had in uh, X and Y and Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire, we also added uh, Chinese, uh, simplified Chinese, and uh, traditional Chinese. And I think a lot of the, especially from uh, those regions, like fans have. Really been kind of excited about it and sending me lots of uh, great messages. And uh, is there anything uh, final that you'd like to wrap up and say to fans who are watching the stream right now? Just the final, ah, the fans' request for a message. Do you have anything else? Yes, ah, the fans' request for a message. Do you have anything else? Yes, ah, the fans' request for a message. Do you have anything else? Yes, ah, the fans' request for a message. So, yeah, I think uh, Sun and Moon, we're、uh, really doing a lot of new challenges for, for us here as Game Freaks. So I hope everyone really just looks forward to the games. Well, thank you. えっとまあ、自分も完全新作としてのディレクター初めてだったんで、まあ、たくさんの苦労があったんですけどもその甲斐があってすごいいいゲームができたので期待しててください。So there was a lot of challenges for me, especially as、uh, it's the first time directing an, you know, an entirely new generation of Pokemon at Game Freak. But I think we've really、uh, brought the game together. It's really turned into something fantastic, and I hope fans really look forward to it. I, I know I'm definitely looking forward to it. And thank you so much、uh, for joining us and giving us some insight into the development work here.、Uh, folks watching again, that was Pokemon Sun and Pokemon Moon, which are coming out for the Nintendo 3DS family of systems this November. So you don't have to wait too much longer. And、uh, please don't go anywhere. <laughs> In a few moments, we're actually going to be coming back.、Uh, Aonuma san is going to be stopping. By to show us some gameplay for a game you might be thinking about,、uh, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. So、uh, please don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Thank you.